In Techno 21, I demonstrated a concept I've been working on using an ESP8266 in the form of a, I'm calling it an autonomous graphing data logger. So it's an ESP8266 web server that uh, access the front end to a data recorder, data logger for the four most popular sensors at the moment um, it's HT30 or 31 or 35 a BME 280 or BME 180 BMP 180 the Bosch temperature pressure sensors a DHT22 or a DHT11 DHT11 is by far the most inaccurate device I've, I've used but nonetheless I've provided a software for that version okay well here's the here's the unit running so it's currently running in my conservatory it's a ESP8266 um, um, an SHT30 sensor and an SD card uh, I've also added a um, lipo charger shield from Wemos so it it's got a little lipo battery plugged in for uh, power retention during power cuts um, not that they happen very often um, refreshes every 30 seconds but that can be adjusted so it has a setup section where you can adjust the main parameters it's got a help section um, you can do things like view the log file size you can stream the log to the screen log number temperature humidity date time those formats are already formatted for direct copy and paste into Excel um, so using this sensor I can um, I'll come back to erasing the log uh, later on. I can view a graph of temperature and humidity. So currently it is 58%. Google Charts uses per unit percentage, so it's 0 to 1. So that's why it's 0.58, or they then nicely graph it in percentage terms. 58% humidity and 12.2 degrees Celsius. It is showing me that it's uh, set for from left to right of the screen is set for 24 hours of display. The log file is indefinite recording. So it's 300 seconds between a log entry and I've just added for because I can really how much free memory there is or free um, heap as it's called in the uh, on the ESP8266 um, you can switch the scale auto scale the graph on and off this is a uh, I had a I disconnected the sensor and it read an infinite value so but uh, you can switch the automatic scales on and off, automatic update on and off, and the menus all respond to that. You can display temperature versus dew point, and dew point is a calculated derived value from temperature and humidity. You can look at instantaneous values, 12.19 and 58.1% are the current readings out there. You can vary the maximum of the chart when it's on or when auto scale is off. You can vary the maximum value. You can move that value up and down and the minimum value you can move up and down. The logging time can be increased or reduced. It currently defaults to 24 hours. It will go down to one hour of readings from left to right uh, up to as many hours 
days as you wish to set and every time you adjust it this value here will respond that's increasing the logging rate reducing the logging rate back to 24 hours again so that's the SHT30D running and uh, it's been running now for a, a number of weeks if I switch to the Bosch variant the BME280 these perturbations as I've played around with the units but it's 60% humidity and 12 degrees C currently out in the conservatory they're almost next door to each other and any variation is due to um, the sensor itself I'll just adjust that back down to 24 hours I've left that set at quite a slow logging rate so you can see what I'm doing or if I didn't want to do that I could go to setup I'll just take the default and I'll go back to temperature humidity there it is 24 hours but you can vary those numbers as you wish I can see uh, like the other sensor temperature versus dew point I can see a history of air pressure I'll switch the automatic scale on so you can see it all working as designed and do a dial view of the three values the key values back to temperature humidity display um, that's it so it automatically updates the screen every 30 seconds and uh, I've uploaded four versions of the code onto github uh, enjoy <laughs>